Alright guys, welcome to your sixth R tutorial and in this video I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about variables and also we're going to be jumping into dates and we'll see, uh, I'll show you guys how to avoid some problems that a lot of people have. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a variable called name and we're just going to set it equal to my name which is Bucky Roberts. Now what I want to mention is whenever you're using a function so let me go ahead and use a simple function called n char and what this is going to do is it's going to count the number of characters in a variable so we'll just go ahead and pass it in name so basically what we're saying is how many characters are in this variable name and if we highlight this and run it Bucky Roberts has 13 characters and also um, this space right here R counts space is a character as well so there are 12 characters or 12 letters in a space so that's why it returns 13 but this tutorial isn't about this n char function so why am I talking about it the reason that I'm talking about it is because I want to show you guys the difference between name and name in quotation marks now whenever you pass in a variable to a function without quotation marks like we did right here this is telling R that we are using a variable this name is a placeholder for something else in this case Bucky Roberts whenever we pass it in with the quotation marks what it does is it says okay get the number of characters in this name which is four so this is just a couple of characters this is a variable and I'll show you guys right here if we run it we can see that this name that is the variable has 13 characters because it's Bucky Roberts and what this one is displaying is 4 because it counted N A M E which is of course 4 letters so that's why I said that so just remember basically whenever you use quotation marks it means the text whenever you use it without the quotation marks it means a variable a placeholder for something else so now that we got that out of the way let me go ahead and delete all this I wanna tell oh, oh got a piece of freaking string cheese in my throat I want to talk to you guys about dates because dates kind of have the same issue so let me go ahead and type a bunch of stuff out and then I'll show you guys what I'm doing as date and let's just go ahead and what date are we gonna put might as well put the date today so it's 2014 6 28 and now let me go ahead and it's easier if I just type all this out I know trust me I mean uh, I'll explain what I'm doing in a second this and let's just put class tuna and class ham and run this crap alright so basically whenever we run this whenever we work with dates in R let me start there what you need to do is you first need to tell R that what you're about to enter is indeed a date if you don't it's just gonna look at it as a string of numbers with hyphens in between them so this isn't the number 2014 minus 6 minus 28 this is actually a date but you know it's just a computer so it doesn't realize that so whenever we work with dates before we store them in a variable we need to pretty much take that text and convert it to a date using the as dot date so whenever we do this this tuna variable now holds a valid date and this ham it just holds a string of text so that's why whenever we output class tuna it says this is a date but class ham we we never converted this to a date so that's why it just says character so this is actually important later on whenever we're trying to do things like sort dates or make a graph based on dates if you forget to convert it to a date before you know you try to organize everything or sort everything it's either going to give you an error message or something's going to mess up so uh, uh update is ready to install for like the eight thousandth time today but anyways that's what i want to point out that's when you use quotation marks that's when you don't some things you need to convert to dates other things they're just going to be plain old characters thank you guys for watching in the next tour I'll see you in the next video. I can't talk today.